Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hey guys, welcome back to another short episode, or hopefully, well, 20 minutes, short, whatever, of uh, VecWare Online. And uh, it's been a while since I played this game, but I got back into it recently. And I was uh, mainly rolling with my Jenners, and I found a new love for uh, small pulse lasers, so I want to make a video on that. And we're playing on one of the new maps of uh, Terra, Terra Therma. And I was also going to talk a little bit about... Oh, well, what an asshole. Anyways, um... So, uh, this is one of the new maps. They've made a lot of, uh... Made a lot of little changes. And, uh... Well, this one is, in particular, is like one of the hottest maps that there is. Uh, it's like ridiculously, uh, like, well, obviously it's like lava and everything. Actually, I will show you actually the center. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, I actually enjoy the center a whole lot. Um, so the center is, this is where the main battle mics fight, and it actually looks really fucking graphically awesome. Uh, it's just, I like the whole lava stream and all that kind of stuff coming down, and so, you know, you come in here, you have the, these epic jetpack battles with over lava. It's, it's pretty cool. And so, you know, they've made a lot of changes to the way jetpacks work as well. I'm gonna go follow these guys. Um, the jetpacks are now nowadays they're because uh, 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 they made the well. It's not that they haven't changed jetpacks. They've actually changed the way movement has worked. So you can't go over like big. You can't climb up uh, big inclines anymore. So uh, it's it's actually really 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 freaking awesome. Uh, I have a, I have a whole lot of fun with it. Um, so like yeah, so equipping jetpacks is now more important than ever. Uh, and they've also added 12 leave 12 to this game, so you actually play in uh, 12 player matches decline. now. Uh, so like right now there's a shit ton of people playing with us right now. So I'm going to try and help this guy. And so uh, jetpacks are fun because you can add a little bit of uh, dynamics to the, the to the combat like this. Okay, so the spider is down here, so let's go fight his ass. Hey spider, what's up? So the mech I'm playing for you today is uh, the Jenner, and the Jenner is the best energy mech uh, for for brawling, light energy brawling. That's that's what I'll call it. Um, and also, spider hitboxes are severely broken right now. So I'm not doing nearly enough damage. I'm supposed to do about 20 damage every time I shoot him. By the way, uh, he doesn't not have that much armor. It's just something's really glitchy with the spider hitboxes. Um, so, uh, basically, a lot of people have been popping into my stream wondering why I'm not playing any sort of, uh, uh, sniper mechs, because they're like, oh, my kid, we know you like to play sniper mechs and all that, and, you know, normally I do, but they've done a lot of, uh, nerfs to the way, um, uh, sniping works. They've, uh, added something called Ghost Heat, which, uh, by the way, that guy's totally on, on voice comms, because, uh, too many people turned around, or he saw me and they saw me, I don't know. Uh, people communicate really well in 12 feet 12, uh, so you have to be very careful of things like that. Because uh, now more than never, people actually do work as teams. Especially me, I'm playing a, a light mech. Uh, light mechs are very fragile, and one wrong turn can basically mean acquired. death. Uh, so, so there's our Jagger mech friend going into here. So what we do is we just help everyone out. And one of the, one of the things that this guy is really good at is like being just like absolute like surgical precision. So I'm going over here just to make sure I don't die, hopefully. I'm probably going to die if I stay there. Now, my range is 90 meters. It's really short, and they're small pulse lasers. And it's one of those things a lot of people ask is like, well, Mike, why are you playing fucking uh, this mech instead of like a sniper mech? The thing is, I don't actually, like, I'm not a... Uh, people misunderstand why I like things like railgun sniper rifles and all that kind of stuff. I don't like them because they're long range. I like them because they're extremely high accuracy weapons. And that's what I have fun with. That's the part I like. Um, I'm just trying to see where I can get the best opening. Okay, let's, let's head over here. I'm trying to help my team out because uh, as a light mech, I, I don't want to be too much into fights. I like accuracy. I like, and the accuracy can be up close or far away. It doesn't, doesn't matter to New me. Target acquired. Um, that's that's how I have fun with with games like this. Yeah, this is not a good position for me to come out in. Now, um, unfortunately, with the small pulse lasers, my, my maximum range is, well, my optimal range is 90, my maximum is 180, so I'll be doing New reduced damage. Acquired. Ooh, boy. Uh, I'll be doing reduced damage if they, uh, 
if I if they're outside of my optimal range, so I gotta be careful about that. Um, so, you know, I I have fun with with like this because um, when you compare small like I'll, I'll compare small pulse lasers around like or pulse lasers period. So small pulse lasers in particular, when you compare them to the PPCs, I have six of them on this. Uh, the damage is actually more. Uh, well, actually, per shot, like this shot, that's like two PPCs, and they fire faster. So the DPS is actually comparable to most sniper builds. Uh, that's pretty sick. Uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm I'm ecstatic about that. I'm uh, like uh, that's as I said when you run the numbers game, there it's actually the DPS is very similar. Um, New target acquired. I'm gonna see if I can actually get behind because I'm like there. I can't fight with my team. It's difficult to when you're a light mech. So yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So running the running the numbers. So yeah, this is basically like a like if I fire all in one component New these two shots, acquired. then that's that's a basically a two PPC hits to one component. And and the the small pulses just have very short duration. So there's a very high probability you'll be able to uh, hit those numbers basically. And we're not doing too well. Well, I'll make sure I died in a very epic fashion. Uh, Let's go and get. Uh... So one of the things I excel at is basically just uh, kind of just popping in here and completely fucking people's days. So this guy I'm gonna just keep running away from. Um, so that's one of the di that's one of the main advantages with this is like you can kind of just pop in and you have like the surgical accuracy. It's it's awesome, and so like you can just cause a whole lot of problems for people. So I'm right now kind of just gonna fuck this guy's day. And so one one of the more common builds with uh, with this guy is uh, medium medium lasers. And the reason people go medium lasers is because they're, it's pretty much the same, but when you compare these against medium lasers, the DPS is actually identical in every way. Uh, and the, the heat is actually lower with these. Okay, I killed him. The heat is actually lower. It's it's actually pretty, pretty crazy stuff. And so that's the reason I roll these is because they're, they're you know, assuming... The, the the medium laser range. Um, okay, I think we're gonna go cap. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, the medium laser uh, they're harder to aim because you have to have the one the one duration. People can spread it out. Basically, if, if someone's shooting medium lasers at you, the best thing they can do is they can actually spread it out all over your cockpit and basically kind of just turn their torso accordingly. Acquired. I think this guy disconnected. Yeah, he did. Enemy base is being captured. Oh well. I can get him though. But um, so that's why these are better than medium lasers. Medium lasers do have more range. That's the one. Th uh, medium lasers basically have like Enemy two things going for them. Captured. It's mostly it's mostly actually the range. Um, actually, I think that's the only thing they have going for them at this point. Uh, it's just the range, and so. You know, against like slower targets, you know, the, the damage spread doesn't matter quite as much. Uh, but, you know, it's 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 one of those things. So, like, I weighed the differences and, you know, the, the range isn't really a big deal for me because I can kind of just run into range. Like, I'm not going to be sniping people out with lasers, so I'd rather have the high, very high DPS just dol bolt in there uh, and basically component people and get out. And when I when I say component people, it means um, I basically, I, I get a read on them, so I, I basically do the, uh, I select them. And then I basically look at their their weakest component and I target that out because it doesn't matter what it is. It could be an arm. It could be a leg. Either way, they're going to either lose a shit ton of weapons or they're going to basically die. And uh, it's a good Enemy deal for me, man. Uh, that's that's why I like it. And I have a lot of fun with it. I've had a lot of really great clutch victories with it as well. But um, it's 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 a lot of fun. Uh, and so if you haven't played the game recently, uh, give it another try, because they I, I think they've made actually a lot of great changes. Not all of them I agree with, but I think overall the game is becoming more and more fun as uh, time goes on. And so, uh, it looks like we won. So, won by bitch cap. Hell yeah. We were gonna lose that anyways. I think, if you look at it, uh, 
Oh no, actually it was pretty tied. But as I said, they went for Cap, so. Okay, you know, I'm gonna just blame my, my two other teammates. So it's just blamed Eugene X and uh, Nick Braun. I didn't want to Cap, but they did. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Wow, I didn't get any money. Fun. All systems nominal. Well, uh, now we are on River City here, which is one I've done uh, lots of times. So, you know, um, so small place losers, that's, that's my justification for using them. Uh, I find them to be quite, quite, quite stimulating to my kind of gameplay. You know, the kind of fat, go fast, uh, do a lot of damage and, and whatever. You know, stimulating was not a right word. It sounds kind of interesting, but anyways. Uh, but Jenner's in particular, Jenner's, man. Okay, I have to give credits to uh, Cadlos, because Cadlos actually got me into Jenner's, because I kind of saw him rolling the the six medium laser Jenner, and then I'm like, that kind of looks fun. And so I decided to get a Jenner, and I'm, I'm absolutely sold on them as, as brawling mechs. Um, because... I honestly think they are the best brawling mech because a lot of the, a lot of them a lot of the uh, lights have like a mix between like ballistic slots and missile slots and shit, but this one in particular is fun target because acquired. you get you get to just. New target uh, I hope that's that spider doesn't have ECM. Oh, it's a machine gun PPC cicada. Oh, time for him to die. Poor guy. So I can just now go component his leg. He's not going to do that much damage to me. There we go. And now I'm an asshole. New target acquired. Okay, well, let's let's run back. Um, but anyways, um, so so lights. Like, you know, all the lights have different roles. Like, I, I thought a lot of them overlapped. But they really don't, actually. They have a lot of different roles, the lights. Um, and so, Jenner's, as I said, are brawlers in, the, in like, the, the purest of forms. Like, it's just... They have the mobility of the jump jets, which is really fun and cool. Like it's just, uh, just all around awesome. Uh, the the Raven is more like a specialist. Uh, this is fucking another Jenner. Let this Jenner fight. But the, the the main disadvantage is, as you see me fighting him, this is the exact same mech as me. He's got a. Big ass center torso, uh, and that's that's his biggest weakness, right? That, that's what I would say. Like his biggest issue is, and we're we're just gonna fight underwater here. Oh damn! Well, I'm sorry, sir. Um, and that's the problem with the Jenner is like your center torso is like the most exposed part. So, you know, as as with any light, you want to have like maximum armor into everything. And if you like, especially the legs, especially the left and right torsos, especially the center torso. Uh, and you take it from the cockpit first if you have to, and maybe the arms, uh, and that's it. And you keep everything max because you do not have a lot of armor in these mechs, uh, and you never want to take a, a light with with anything but max armor unless you're just doing a trolley build. Enemy base is being captured. You know we're we're losing actually. I don't, I don't know, man. I think we New should. New target acquired. Okay, well. Let's uh, let's get in there. Uh, it's our our Enemy victor there. Is being captured. Hey, what's up? Oh, my torso was turned too much. He's just like backing up. Oh god, don't kill me. He didn't kill me. He might kill me now. He didn't kill me. So, you know, my job is just to be as fast as humanly possible. There's way too many mechs here, so we just won't fight this. Uh, that's basically my plan here. So, you just want to make sure that people don't kill you, basically. It's it's really difficult. Like, you just got to run around. The, to be competitive in, in these kinds of mechs, you just have to have, like... Uh, you gotta... Whoa, okay, rubber banding. Uh, one of the problems introduced since the last patch. And he has trouble figuring out where I went. I'm right here. Bye. So, I, once again, you saw me. I, I, I targeted his weakest component. And this guy just shut down. And I just kind of neutered him and took away a bunch of his weapons. And I'm just continuing to kind of run around. Acquired. And that's that's kind of what you do. That's the life. Acquired. That's the life of a Jenner. And you basically just go in and mop up because you can steal a lot of kills. It's fun. So um, you know, and I, I kind of like the the 
the, the gender kind of speaks to me in like in, in its roles, and I, and I like it. So thanks to you, Cadlos, for getting me into this uh, mech. It was it was all it was all you're doing. So yeah. Um, and one of the other things is like you know why not medium pulse lasers? Medium pulse lasers are target good, acquired. but small pulse lasers are better. New target. Oh God. Ooh, oh boy. Time to run. Time to run. Wait, where'd he go? Got him. New target this guy might kill me though. This is why we could just continuously just run around in a way. I'm just trying to get this back guy's back torso. If I don't get hit by his arms. I'm so like I have such a small frame to me. It's awesome. But I'm dead, so that's okay. Well, like I had a really dumb streak build, uh, which is like, you know, the streaks kind of got gimped a little bit. And so they're, they're actually more balanced now, uh, so they're not as powerful, so this is why you don't want to really play heavy mech with streaks. But anyways, uh, uh, that's how I did. I did pretty well, considering. Uh, if I had stayed alive, it would have been nicer, but you know, you can't win them all. All systems nominal. Okay, this one's a bit of a variation on what I was running before. Uh, this one's uh, got uh, small pulses and two streaks. Uh, so I sacrificed two of the uh, pulses and put on two more streaks. And uh, I also am missing two of the jump jets. Uh, I had five before and I have three. Less vertical momentum, less opportunities for escape, but still. It's uh, it works all the same. It's uh, still pretty good. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't complain that much about it. But it will give you basically instead of being a precision guy, you still get the, those capabilities. So I'm supposed to defend here. Um, Target acquired. You still get the precision abilities. Uh, the only thing is you uh, you don't get it as much, and you get a bit more of a brawling abilities with the streaks. Uh, I don't actually have a what what they have now is actually uh, ECM can now be countered by BAP. Uh, I don't actually have BAP on this. Uh, I'm just uh, hoping that I'm, I'm not going to get Target fucked. Acquired. And the cicada is going to learn a harsh lesson about um, how to play MechWarrior online, which is don't run into the other team. Um, still don't have range with this one, and there's only one other build that I think is actually viable in this in this game. Come on. Oh, I think I hit my catapult front in the back. Please don't notice me. Yeah, the assist is secured. So basically I just fire streaks at him now. And he's pretty much dead. That poor guy. We all came back here. You know, I think we just did more damage with, by friendly fire than anything else. Okay, what's this guy? This guy's a hunchback. Uh, he will learn the lesson of pain. Uh, looks like they're coming up in the city. But, um, so the, yeah, the only other viable build I know with this is um, to basically run four medium pulses. And that's that was my, my grinding build. And I had fun with that. So you can, st you can still get up to places. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. Target acquired. I missed all my shots. I'm just gonna circle strafe him. So it's it's a little harder to aim this because you're you're continuously keeping your 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 targeting on him, and I'm being shot at by other places. And also, heat is a problem. I don't know. As I said, I I don't prefer this one, but this is one of the variants you can run, and is it is the best thing I can possibly think of because, as I said. Uh, it's either it's either acquired. medium lasers or these, uh, with, with which you know medium lasers wouldn't be horrible if you played from range. New target uh, you know, I'm 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 not totally against that. But you know this this supposedly gives you more brawling abilities. But you know you can be a real dick in, in the lights and just kind of kind of like just Enemy base. hit people's back armor. So right now I'm just gonna just run around and and uh, I I, I kind of tickled their cap. And someone hit me in the back. That was not cool. You know, I guess I guess that's karma for you. New target acquired. I I wouldn't run this at all. I honestly and think the Jenner F, which is the one where you can have six energy slots, I think that's the best because you, you 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 basically 
give yourself a very central focus. So that's what I mean by getting people in the back. It's dickish, but hey, it works. Most of the time it works. So we got most of them. Uh, four medium pulses. The thing is though, having more weapons, like, you know, the, the thing the thing about this game is that a lot of people are kind of like, you know, I, I want to run the, the fucking, the PPC, like their first reaction is to basically run PPCs or something. And it's like, you know, PPCs and like a spider or something, that's their first reaction, but it's like, Target you know, acquired. it's Enemy not a really attached. good idea, you know, because, um, you, I'm sure it sounds great on theory, like I'm gonna go snipe stuff as a light mech, but in, in, in reality, your, your greatest assets are like speed, getting behind people, being like low priority, Need all that kind of crap. I want nothing to do with you New fellas. Um, and so that's why, you know, it's actually best, it's more efficient to use up all your, uh, use up all your weapon slots with basically a heat and damage efficient weapons that fire fast. Because, you know, as I said, captured. having like three small pulse lasers actually is comparable to a PPC. It's better than a PPC. Assuming you're within range, it's so much better. Okay. I got the kill. See what I mean? Like, they're they have all these heavy weapons, but I, I've been getting I've been nailing all these kills this entire time. So, so this guy's reaction was to to go put on large large lasers. Now those are very difficult to hit, and he's gonna have a whole lot of problems with that. Especially since I'm an evasive motherfucker. Now he's trying to protect his torso a bit more. I don't know what you don't want to you don't want to aim at me. Okay, well don't worry, my team will just take you out. That's that's okay too. I guess it's uh, you know they deserve to get some kills in too. Enemy base is being captured. After I've been stealing all of theirs. So yeah, it's uh that's another one of my uh, favorite builds. So I won't really show off the medium pulse lasers because it's basically the same thing as the small pulse lasers. And uh, yeah, I I would recommend generous. And if you haven't given Mecha Warrior a try, it's it's getting better all the time. It's really worth getting into. Uh, it's a very, very tactical game. Uh, it's more fun with friends, um, but you know, it's one of those things. You know, get some friends, I guess. But yeah, so we did pretty well here. And yeah, you see, high high kill count, even though like I wasn't doing a hell of a lot of damage, it's, uh, I have the ability to target components and kill them. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you later. Bye.